Hi there everybody, Lara Riggio here from my Central Park Energy Center in the heart of New York City and I'm so glad you're here today because I want to give you a little love. We all can use more love, right? I mean, isn't your day just going better no matter what comes your way when you're feeling good about yourself? As opposed to maybe when you wake up and you're not feeling so great and then you get some upsetting news, it has a tendency to just make you feel worse, right? So if you can start your day with the exercise I'm about to show you, you can immediately inject more joy, more fulfillment, more inspiration, and more love into your heart, your life, and your day. This one is an oldie but goodie. I do it every day, and it still works. So, <laughs> I want you to start off by just think about anything that's kind of bugging you right now, anything at all, and then just feel where you feel that stress in your body. Do you feel it in your jaw? Do you feel it in your neck? Maybe in your gut? And now, I want you to share with me in your own head or out loud what you love about your life. And I'm gonna go first so you get some examples. For example, I just get super excited thinking about going to get my favorite almond milk cappuccino because when the barista makes it, it comes with these little hearts in it and it really just fills my heart with joy. Another go-to for me that I love about my life is playing with my puppy Chulo. He always puts a huge smile on my face. It just makes me laugh out loud. I love watching Modern Family on Friday nights when they have one after the other after the other because it is one surprising, hilarious moment after another. Um, I happen to really like this shirt too. It makes me feel really pretty. Um, I love cuddling up with my puppy and my hubby in the bed in the morning while it's cold out um, because it just feels snuggly and cozy and I love it. Um, let's see what else. I love my breakfast lately. I wake up and I make myself a smoked salmon sandwich with some um, green onion and avocado and it just, I love it. It makes me feel good and tastes really good too. So any of those little things, maybe it's your favorite PJs, maybe it's your favorite food. I want you to think right now. Think about what is your favorite food? How does it make you feel? What's your favorite thing to wear? And how does that make you feel? Who's your favorite person in your life? And how do you feel when you hang out with them? What's your favorite thing to do that just fills your heart with joy? One of the things I love to do is actually work out to my favorite music. And oh, some of the music that I love right now, I'm loving listening to Rent again and all the beautiful messages about love in that musical. It's just filling my heart with joy and just pumping me up when I do my workouts. What's your favorite song? How does that make you feel? So those little things, guys, can get you present to all that you have and all that you are. And any of my single ladies out there or men out there, when you are really present to who you are and the value you bring to everyone in the world by sharing all these life loves, you will get just how amazing of a partner you're gonna be for someone else. And guys, when you can feel that love for yourself, yourself, you will be attracting someone that loves you too and gets you and gets the value of who you are. That's what happened to me. That's how I actually think I attracted my husband. This exercise was a key, key, key part. Now, I wanna also ask you, what are you passionate about right now? What is a subject that just lights you up when you talk about it? Think about it. For me, right now, talking about some of the messages in music is just lighting me up. Talking about some of the great movies that are out there right now um, also is just lighting me up because I'm learning a lot about myself in listening to this stuff and watching these messages. So think about it. What's lighting you up right now? A friend of mine was telling me about some of the um, aid work that she's doing in Africa right now, and that was lighting her up. What are you passionate about? What touches, moves, and inspires you? You have so many gifts to give the world, and when you have conversations with people about what you love and about your passion, you help not only elevate your own mood, but you also can inspire them 
to be their best selves as well. So you have so much going for you and I really hope you get it and I want to help you get present to all your greatness and just how lovable you are every single day. So I've created this love letter for you that you can read to yourself every day to get you present to just who you are and how important you are to yourself and the world. So listen up, this can be hard to take for some people. So if you want to, see if you can just cross your ankles either the right over the left or the left over the right. And then as you sit here and take all this in, put your hands in this position. Take the backs of your hands and face them toward one another, cross them, clasp them together, and then place them on your lap. Doing this exercise gets the brain working bilaterally and it will help you receive all these things that I want to share with you about you. Okay, so, dear you, I hope you truly get how amazing you are. I hope you really feel just how many people appreciate and love you in your life. You really are lovable, and I hope you can feel it. You're so courageous, living with an open heart and willing hands and being open-minded to all the possibilities and opportunities that are before you. Thank you for being all that you are and bringing your passions, your loves, and your gifts to the world. Please, Pay attention every day to your heart and to your gut. When something feels off, wait and please ask yourself, is this what I want? Is this the best way for me to move forward? And if it doesn't feel right, just know it's not right for you in this moment. And stop, maybe release any of the stress you're feeling with one of the exercises I've taught you, and then think about what is the next move that will make you feel good? And it may be just thinking about what you love about your life or partaking in one of those things. Give yourself the gift of having that almond cappuccino that I know I love <laughs> or putting on a cozy pair of PJs, something to resource you. Please trust your instincts and your intuition. They will guide you well. Any should proclamation is being generated from your past conceptualization of reality. And what those memories are telling you is right for you in your future. I'm hearing a siren right now in New York. Let those shoulds be a little bit of an alarm in your mind, a siren going off. Hey, this is just my past. This is not my reality. Shoulds are not connected to your present moment or your pure potential. You don't have to be anything you don't want to be. You don't have to live up to anyone's expectations. There's no need to strive for any kind of perfection that really isn't interesting to you. You don't have to believe in ideas that make you sad or tormented. You don't have to feel emotions that others try to manipulate you into feeling. You just have to be you and help yourself feel good enough to take the actions to continue to live your truth. If you want to feel good in your future, do what feels good right now. And your good feelings will attract more and more good feeling experiences and opportunities that support those good feelings. You deserve the best life has to offer. And I hope you can recognize all the beauty, joy, and love that you have in your life right now. Please don't let being busy keep you from recognizing the abundance, the abundance in your life. Don't let all you have and all you have to do get in the way of seeing what you have right now. Take just 30 seconds to do this exercise every single day, guys. Take the time to notice all you have, all the people that love you, all your passions, and take a moment every single day to give yourself the gift of your own attention. 
give yourself something today and every day that makes you happy. Love yourself. You are loved and there is so much love available to you. And you can get present to it by doing this video every day and reading this love letter to yourself that I've provided for you in the blog. So go ahead and print it out. Keep it by your bed, keep it in your bathroom, wherever you will see it before you leave your house in the morning so you can get present to the love that you have for you in your life and also the love that's available to you. With this, I wish you so much love and joy. Be well and share this, guys, with any friends that you think could benefit from it. There is so much love available to you. Just take it, take it, take it, take it, take it and receive it into your heart.